Hello. I want to uh, further discuss the vocabulary from lesson seven. You've watched Sherry um, sign those words, but I, I always like to add a little explanation for the vocabulary because like I said before, it does help us to learn those words if we have some kind of something to think about, some reference. So let's start with that. So the vocabulary starts on page 83. And the sign for advertisement, it's this, it's advertisement. It's also propaganda. It's some type of word getting out there. Um, now, I want to talk about few because there are a couple of explanations for the word, the words and the sign for few. This sign that they're showing you in this lesson is few, few. It's like one, two, three meaning items. Books you have, yes, few. But we also use the sign few for something that's close. For example, and it's a different sign, it's this, F hand shape, few, few. So example would be, um, okay, library, Where's the library? Oh, library? It's very close. It's right there, just a few steps. All right, so that's another explanation. But this means quantity. Um, there are a couple signs for after. One of them is after, after. This is from now on, from now on. I would think that more than after. Body body, self-explanatory, both. You've got the V hand shape, you've got two coming right down through that hand. That's both. Now, you may see some initialized signs for many things, but when we're talking about meals like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you, sorry, you may see a, an initialized sign for breakfast. It's a, it's a signed English sign, B for breakfast breakfast, um, L for lunch, and D for dinner. You may see those, but remember, we want to remind ourselves that we are learning ASL. And in ASL, the visual concept. So we don't worry about the words, we get the concept. So if we eat in the morning, it doesn't matter what we call it. Desayuno, breakfast, doesn't matter. It's the concept of eating in the morning. That's the sun coming up. Eat morning. The same thing with lunch, which we'll see. Eat at noon, eat at noon, or eat at night. We don't care what you call it. Could be supper, could be dinner. That's the word. We don't care about that. But when we see eat in the morning, that's the concept that we want to stick in there. Or we eat at noon, where the where the sun is straight up, or we eat at night. Who cares what we call it? That's Those are English words, and we don't need to, do, to worry about those. To, for coat or jacket, um, it's and the idea of putting it on. It's the coat or the jacket, and it's also the sign for putting on a coat or a jacket. This we've all used. Come on. Come on. Come with me. Follow me. Another explanation. Uh, the, emphasizing the explanation that I just made for eat dinner. Okay. Eyes. So when you're describing someone, um, you want to use both eyes. Um, both eyes. Because there's actually, it's interesting, there is a condition that is linked with deafness where uh, individuals will have, <clears throat> excuse me, one eye brown and the other eye blue. So when we're describing eyes, it's best to show both, <coughs> excuse me, both eyes. Face kind of looks like pretty or beautiful, but it's the index finger going around the face. There are a lot of signs with the F hand shape, and I did post something 
about that. We'll see a lot of signs with the F hand shape. Because remember, our hands can only do so much. We're limited with what we can do with our hands. So we use one hand shape for a lot of different things. Um, for example, French. It's an F hand shape and it's French. Or furniture. Or piece of cake. It's easy. Piece of cake. Um, preach. Preach and find, and this sign is, where did it go? It's French fries, because you're dipping, dipping, Margaret, <laughs> sorry. You're dipping, you're dipping the French fries in the oil. In fact, when, um, last year, two, two years ago, we were in Brussels and in Belgium, and there was a little store that was a French fry store and oh my gosh, taste smooth, which is a sign for delicious, delicious. They fry their French fries two times. So they have a vat of oil, grease or oil. So they dip it in, take it out, and dip it in again. Oh my goodness, delicious French fries, the best. So if you ever are in Brussels in Belgium, get their French fries. Um, same, we've seen this before, just go away, just get away, don't, don't bother me. The same with this, it's kind of a directional, um, go that way, or go that way, or come this way, or go over there. It's very, very clear, but we need to be very clear in our direction. So if we want someone to go over there, or if we want them to go over there, we want them to go over there, you just point to the direction that you want them to go. This is together or with, or accompanied. So an example would be, what did we just see? Library, you want with? Would you like to go to the library with me? Movie, would you like to go with me? Movie, you want with? But then we would say, would you like to go with me to the movie? Hamburger, hamburger. Now, gosh, this kind of looks familiar. We saw the sign for husband and wife and married, but the hamburger, we're actually pressing the hamburger. A veggie burger would be vegetable burger. Vegetable burger. Hands, you can just point to your hands. You can do this or you can just point to your hands. Something is hard or difficult hard or difficult, and it could also be a surface too. Something may be soft or it may be hard. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, right? That chair was hard, right? Um, learning a language, hard. You have to put in a lot of time and practice, as you know. So they're little crouching kind of, looks like a classifier for crouching, and it's hard, hard or difficult. Head, makes sense, head, heart. There's that feeling hand shape again. Remember, what's up, how do you feel, sick, poor you, poor me, heart, heart. Uh, let's see, knife, knife, you're just doing actually cutting, not actually cutting, but you're going through the action of what it would look like to cut something. If you wanna talk about a tomato, it's red cut or slice, red cut or slice. This is knife. If you've left something, now think of the word. Remember ASL is based on concept, not the word. So when you think of left, left? Do I mean left and right? Or do I mean left? And this is if I, I left something. I left, I took off, I took my stuff and I ran, left, or I left something, or I want to go to the left, I want to go to the right. And when you're giving directions, remember we mentioned before, when you're giving directions, it's always from your perspective. You don't have to turn it around. It's too confusing. The other, your reader will be able to figure it out. It's just the way our brains work. Our brains are pretty cool. Eat at noon, that's lunch. Um, many, many. So you, they kind of are interchangeable, 
uh, how many, how many, how many, or many. But we do, we do tend to interchange them. But we do want to know the difference between how many and many. But don't worry if you interchange them and don't worry if you watch someone interchange them. Mind, that makes sense, it's right up here. Remember when we talked about mistake? It could be, it could be a mistake, it could be an error, it could be, um, darn. All right, test, me, study, nothing. Wrong, I did not study for my test and I got all the answers wrong, right? But it could also mean, and I explained this earlier, something accidental. Wow, this morning I unexpectedly saw your sister. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Neighbor, neighbor. Now, if your neighbor lives across the street from you, it's neighbor. If they live to your left, it's neighbor. So you don't want to do my neighbor over there. No, 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 no. My neighbor or my neighbor, or my neighbor, or my neighbor, or my neighbor. There's the placement. That needs to be accurate. Because doesn't that look awkward? No. Right? Okay, good job. Nose. To order. Sometimes it's done with two hands. It looks like answer or respond. It's a little bit stronger. It's could be two hands, order. If you're in a restaurant and you want to order, you don't, it's not an order, it's an order. So you would soften that same sign, but you would soften it. Now, often what we'll do, because in deaf culture, because we don't hear in deaf culture, in, we, you'll, you'll see, and we use it too, did you, did you hear, did you hear that Sally is marrying Jim? Wow, did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. It, that's very, very common. Um, even in the blind community, I've worked with um, blind people, I've worked with in the deaf community, and I've worked with deaf blind as well. And in the blind community, you will hear blind people say, um, I saw a wonderful movie last night, or I saw my friend, or I saw your teacher yesterday. So it's an expression. Um, so with this, what we tend to do, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, allergies. What we tend to do is pay attention, pay attention, which means listen up. We use that a lot in, in school, in the classrooms, when I was teaching at the, the middle school at the School for the Deaf in Riverside. It was, you know, listen up, listen up, listen up, but it's paying attention. This is a directional sign. I'm going to pay attention to you, or I want you to pay attention to me. So there's another example of a directional sign. Pencil. Long time ago when people used pencils, and we still use pencils, but it used to be that you had to lick the lead of the pencil and then write. Can you imagine? It's crazy. So if you do pencil, you don't have to actually lick your finger. You, you, want to avoid that. But it's just the action of that. I would recommend that when you sign pencil that you spell it as well. We often spell something before and after a word for emphasis and clarification. So can I borrow your pencil? Do you have Do you have pencil? Can I please borrow pencil? I would spell it out in addition to the sign. P hand shapes people, and it's the action of riding a bicycle. It's like this is a bicycle because these are our feet on the pedals or the pedals, and this is the sign for people. If we plan something, we organize something, 
we prepare something. Now there are different ways of planning. You can plan something like this, or you can plan something that didn't take much time, or you can plan something, right? So we always have to adjust the sign to the meaning. There are a couple signs for rabbit. One is this, maybe you'll see two. You see their little ears. You know how their ears flop back like that? Sometimes you'll see this for rabbit. Now this is the sign for horse, because their ears go forward, but rabbit ears go back or rabbit, okay? Now we saw the sign for few. Remember, that was one, two, three, one, two, three. This is several, several. See how the whole hand opens up? Few, and we would bring this closer to us because it's a smaller amount, few. Meeting last night, um, how many showed up over there? Um, few, there were just a few. Several, there were more. So I'm moving it just a little bit away from my face. Few, few, one, two, three, few, or several, several. There were more of them. So I'm moving it a little bit away from my face. I prefer to do shirt with two hands because this is the sign, not that it's a big deal, but this is the sign for volunteer or to apply, to apply for a job or to volunteer to help with the voting or to volunteer on a committee. So I, I prefer shirt with two fingers because it makes it very, very clear. Not just me, I'm just suggesting that, but I'm not the only one that does it. Shoes, like you have your shoes, and if they have mud on them, you have to shake the mud off, right? So two times, shoes. We saw the sign for hard, hard. This is the sign for soft. It's very soft. The bed, is soft. The bed is hard. There we go with the Goldilocks reference again. Uh, we've, I think we've seen the sign for letter. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I'll show it to you again. Letter. There's your letter and you're putting the stamp up in the corner. That's a letter. You don't have to lick it. We used to lick stamps. We had to lick the stamps and put them on. Now we peel them off or we just send them by email or online. But letter, letter, letter. I think people are getting back to writing letters again because it was really a nice thing to do. So the stamp, again, you don't have to lick it. We used to, but you, you can put it up here. Stamp, it's two fingers together and it's going, here's the letter and the stamp's going up here in the corner. So letter, letter or stamp, stamp, okay? Still. Now, think of the word still. It could be quiet, quiet, or still. Riverside, you live still over there? Yes, I live in Riverside. I still live in Riverside. I'm still working at the same job. And finish, finish, knock it off, finish, 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 finish. Like stop, stop it, knock it off. To sell something, I think we've seen this sign. To sell something, we buy something. We shop by spending a lot of money. We... Um, sell something, and two times, because remember the rule, nouns are two times, two times store, store, okay? We sell, we buy, we shop, where? Two times, because it's a noun, store, all right? Make sure the hands are down, the fingers are down, two times for store. Time, Time. And we talked about time. Maybe you're talking about uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3.30, 4.45, 7.10. We go from the watch to the time. Or it could be one time. Movie. See, finish, you. See. 
see the difference? It's not three o'clock. It's three times I saw that movie. Until, until, until. See how it moves like that? Until. Now, to wash a dish is actually like pantomiming. You're washing a dish. Maybe you're washing a dish and then you're putting it over here. Then you pick up another dish and you wash it. And then you stack it and you wash it and you stack it. I know you would rinse it first, but wash, stack it up, wash, stack it up. Maybe you're at camp and you're stacking them all up and then you can rinse them, put them on the rack, rinse, put it on the rack. So think about washing. To wash ourselves, we wash ourselves. Da, 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 We wash ourselves. If it's a car we're washing, we put it right in front of us and we wash the car. Remember, we, we want to establish the environment and establish that subject topic first. If it's a window we're washing, we don't usually wash like this. You would want to act it out. There's the window, okay? And you could indicate, you could do window wash, but then you, you could do how you could do that. But you'd want to pantomime the window and then maybe do the ah, that squeegee part. Right? You got a nice clean window. All right, so those are the vocabulary words for lesson seven. Okay, so practice and enjoy.